Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing something a little bit terrifying to me, which is a no mirror makeup challenge. <laughs> now I've tried this in the past, it didn't work out all that well, I looked like a raccoon, but I'm gonna try again because why not? So down here in front of me I have all my usual products that I would use for my everyday look. I'm not gonna be using any of the mirrors and the products. So without further ado, we're gonna start with my foundation. God, this is absolutely terrifying to me. Bear in mind, I can't even see in the viewfinder either, so I'm not gonna know if things are being blended well enough. I think, you know, the more I tap or the more I um, use the brush, the more things are going to be blended, hopefully. Now, usually I would use a primer in the beginning because primer it's just, you know, a nice thing to use before foundation, but I ran out of mine, so we're just gonna make do with what we got. And this foundation is high coverage and it's buildable, so I can use more if I want to, but uh, <laughs> I'm kind of scared too. Okay, I think that's blended enough. Hopefully it is. Um, I'm gonna move on to concealer. This feels so weird without using a mirror. Blend again. Hopefully it blends out well enough. If not, oh well, but we're gonna try our best, okay? And I know a lot of people in the comments are gonna get mad at me for using a brush underneath my eyes because the eyes are like the uh, most delicate part, like under the eyes, but you know what? I forgot my beauty blender thing, and so I'm just, um, I'm making do with, with what I got, okay? Okay, and then we're gonna set it with powder, which doesn't have a mirror in it, as you can see, but uh, we're gonna set all this and make sure we're extra matte, because we don't want our foundation and concealer to move around during the day because that would be annoying. Okay, I'm feeling confident so far, but uh, now we're gonna move into the bronzer. And I gotta look away from this because there's a, there's a mirror in here, so I'm just gonna cover that. But uh, usually I put the bronzer in the hollows of my cheeks, so we're gonna see how this goes. Knowing me, when I'm done this, it's probably gonna look like I got punched in the face, but you know what? I'm just gonna roll with it. Get a little bit of that on the temples as well, just like what's left over on the brush. And then we've got blush, and this doesn't have a mirror in it either, thank God. So, smile and apply to the apples of your cheeks. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then lastly for my all over base, I use a highlighter and again, I'm covering the mirror. So this usually goes on the high points of the cheeks. So next I have my brows, which this is going to be terrifying, but we're going to try and see how this goes. Use this one today. Um, <laughs> Where the hell are my brows? We're gonna say right there. And I sound weird when I say this, but I like take pride in doing my eyebrows. I don't know why, but it's just so freaking satisfying. So if these come out like a horrible, then I'm just gonna be like so sad. And then I usually use this eyeshadow here for my under brow highlight with my crown brush here. And I usually use this all over my lids as well. So. And then all over the lids. And... Okay, and then my outer corners, covering up this mirror here. I like to use, what one is it? This color here. And press in and blend, 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 blend. See, I have my shadow palette like that so I don't see the mirror. Not cheating, guys. If I was cheating, do you think that my makeup would look as probably horrible as it looks right now? I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> so next is liquid liner, which I am terrified about because I know last time the liquid liner just was not my best, so... Oh god. Um, we're just gonna try to line as close to the lash line as possible. Drop a little flick. 
I will say though, I'm just gonna close my eye and let this dry, but I feel as if I put the wing way too far out, but you know what, we're just gonna roll with it. So, uh, second last step here is mascara, which I mean, mascara isn't too challenging. It's just terrifying. Finally, lips. I'm just gonna use a soft matte lip cream. I've got freaking mascara and eyeliner all over my fingers, but that's okay. Still so weird. Okay, so that's the uh, the look complete. I'm gonna check the mirror in this guy in a minute. So, in three, two, one. Oh my god. Okay. You know what? That's actually not too bad. Given the circumstances, the eyeliner is like crap, but you know what? The eyeshadow is really not that bad. My brows, I went a bit too far up. Uh, the lips aren't too bad. The foundation just needs a little bit more blending because I can see the, the streaks. The, the contour is not too bad though. I'm actually impressed. But I will say though, the one thing that I just noticed is I put a whole like ton of highlight right on my cupid's bow so it's just like over the top highlighted. I know I said I wanted to glow but like that's a bit overkill. <laughs> but anyways, there you go you guys. This is my no mirror makeup challenge look. <laughs> Turned out a little bit better than I thought it would so I'm, I'm rather impressed. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys like my videos. Keep being awesome, and I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Bye.